you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know that I just finished my health assessment class and I am a family nurse practitioner student. So all this equipment that I'll be showing will be like specifically for nurse practitioner students. So I just want to go over all the equipment that I used to be successful in my classes and we're just going to get straight to it. So I am doing a online nurse practitioner program. I'm doing the family nurse practitioner route. So it's not as easy for me to go to campus and do the skill checkoff list like I would in nursing school. So what they have us do is that they have us uh, videotape ourselves performing a physical assessment on a patient. So I'm going to be telling you in this video all the tools that I have used, all the equipment that I've used, um, in order for me to be successful in my class. So here's one and then I'll go and explain kind of everything that I've used. So first thing is first, you of course have to dress professional for the video. You can't be in your pajamas. So you also are required to wear a lab coat and this lab coat, you, if you haven't seen my declutter video where I showed you which video which scrubs I ended up with I'll post it up above but or up here but this is my lab coat that I use and it's super duper long and I like um, lab coats like this this is from my microbiology class yes like eight or ten no like ten years ago and I still have it I wear my business casual clothing, which I already wear to work. So on top of that, I just wear my lab coat. The next thing that is very important is the stethoscope. So the stethoscope is very important for physical assessment. So here's this, and this one's a Lippmann. I don't know, I think it's just a 3M Lippmann. Oh, classic two. So, and this kit here, it comes perfectly and it's all cushioned and you could zip it up. I bought this on Amazon. The only thing that I did have to buy was a battery for this. So for example, this is for the ear to check the ears. Pretty big. So compared, you guys can see here, it's big. So the way you turn it on is you turn this little dial and there we go. Don't want to break this so I took off the otoscope part and all you do is twist it off and then you just twist back for the ophthalmoscope which is this hope it focuses there we go and same thing you I don't think you guys can see that it turns on but anyways it does turn on and I'm still learning how to use this because uh, it's just like if you guys are students it's kind of hard to learn some of these techniques when you're kind of like YouTubing <laughs> what to do but I'm getting there um, it takes a lot of practice for me at least to learn how to use this ophthalmoscope and see it's pretty big so anyways it's very important that when you're looking into the patient's eye you are using your right eye to look at their right eye and you're using your left eye to look into their left eye with the eye assessment we also have a pen light and this pen light it doesn't turn on because it doesn't have a battery um, but I use it mainly for the pupils and I'll do the accommodation and the reaction to light with the, the ophthalmoscope. The main equipment that we use from this kit is the otoscope and the ophthalmoscope. And it is RA Bach Diagnostics. This is such a great quality um, equipment. 
all these things right here we got, I got them from a kit that I bought through the school because I couldn't find on Amazon one specifically where all of these came together. So I just figured I'd just buy it off of the school uh, bookstore website. So I'm just going to go through each one. And like I said, the pen lights, I don't have the battery in it, but I use it for the pupil size. And then the eye charts. This is the Snellen chart. And then this is the, I think it's called the Rosenbaum. I always forget what it's called. Yes, it's the Rosenbaum test. So, and these both can go on your pocket in your lab coat. So these are pretty awesome. Uh, I will make a video explaining how these charts are used for visual acuity testing. And this is the reflex hammer that I have been using. I'm still trying my best to get better at it. At this, there's certain reflexes that I'm able to do better than others. But anyway, since we are here, make sure to you subscribe. If you think that this information has been valuable, subscribe, like this video, and share it. Next is the tuning fork. It's used for... Um, vibration sensations so what you do is you kind of hit it against your hand and then you could put it like there or like back here and the person is supposed to tell you when they stop feeling the um, vibration or if they can hear it and then you could also use it on other parts of the body the other thing that we use for our physical assessment is measuring tape yes measuring tape is a very important and what we usually use the measuring tape for um, in our health assessment videos is to measure the liver you could also um, measure the spleen but usually it's not palpable and it's very deep so that would be kind of hard and the last but not least, it did not come in our um, kit, but I do use this, like Q-tip, to test for a dull and sharp sensation because it's a part of our exam. So what I'll do is for the dull side, um, to check if they have dull sensation, I'll do the Q-tip side, the soft swap, and then sharp the other side. So I hope you guys got an idea of the equipment that you will be needing for nurse practitioner school and, and if you found any of the information in this video valuable make sure to subscribe like and share this video with whoever you think might also find this information valuable and i'll see you guys on the next video